Hello, everybody. Hi, my name is Dax. I'm Sean. And we are... Dax and 150. Or Pull Reproductions. Or together, the Landax Corporation. Or Conglomerate. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah, or Bathing Shield. Yes. <laughs> anyway. So, you probably wonder, who are these ten people? Yes. You know, this channel's always been, you know, two and then at one point maximum of four. Correct. But the thing is, you probably wonder, who are these people? Indeed, who are, are there these? actually ten people in this crew? Yeah. Who are these ten men and women? There, But there's actually more members than you expect. Indeed. Believe it or not, there is actually 97 people that work on this channel. Indeed. 97. That work hard. Think about it. We were a year old. <laughs> mm-hmm. 97 people. A whole crew. It's when the C5 first debuted. <laughs> Indeed. But, first, we forgot something. Yes. You know what we have to do, right? What? We gotta fire some people. Oh, yes. Because some of them haven't been doing their job right. Yeah. Maybe. So, be right back. We gotta fire some people. Right. Two. One. So, we are back. Dax is on his daily masturbation break, which we have around here. And, in that, so I'm the manager. You know, I'd run the day-to-day -day operations when he's not here, and I I'd decide who gets hired and fired, and we fired 10 people because they're either not doing their job or they just smelled really bad. I don't know. Whatever the reason was, they're gone. So we got this band, right? This Canadian metal band. I don't know. They like, I don't know, music that makes old people think we sold our souls or some shit. I don't know. But anyway, so this is their bassist, Callie. Fun fact, she's obsessed with Corvettes like Dax. This is their drummer, Lusa. Apparently, there's black people in Canada. I did not know that until then. Toto, the guitarist. He looks like he uh, could not give less of a fuck. And Yale, who is probably named after the college. I don't know. These two pick on each other a lot. And it's like, this guy picks on him a lot, and these two are engaged. Weird. But anyways, so you know who me and Dax are. This is Prometheus. He is in charge of the drug dealing and weed growing operation. I mean medical marijuana studying program, if you want to call it that. This is my mom. She's also our nurse. This is my nephew. He's in charge of demolition. And of course, we got Orion, who is us, who, along with Prometheus, gr runs our marijuana growing operation. Did I say that? I meant medical marijuana processing facility that's monitored by the government. I probably should shut up on that. Anyways, now let's get to the other fuckwads. Because those are just the favorites. We got plenty of other people. This is Bert from Sesame Street. He's in charge of feeding our pigeons and looking like a pedophile. This is Bart Simpson. He gets all of the other drugs. Because Pro and Orion only deal with weed. You know, Bart can get us cocaine, methamphetamine, flaca, whatever we want that's not weed. He gets it for us. So he's a good guy to have. This is Baba Tope. He is our janitor. Cleans the floors. This is Arthur. He's our student. We're teaching him the finer things about editing and whatnot. This is Allie. She's a zombie. She's actually, a uh, fun fact about her, she was Toto's girlfriend for a long time until she tragically died in 2006, so roughly 10, 11 years ago. So apparently she must be a zombie or some shit, so I don't know why we have a zombie in here, but whatever. Obviously we resurrected Albert Einstein, and then Alvin from the Chipmunks. He, uh, does all of our math calculations, because me and Dax suck at math. And Alvin, he is just a chipmunk. They don't really do much other than sound like they're on helium. This is our private jet. Our 737, we named him Airplane. We turned Dax's cat into a me. I thought that was pretty cool. This is our security system, Two-Faced Man, or the Neutramelk so Hotel song, Two-Headed Boy. He's in charge of our security. He makes sure that we're not going to get mugged by all the, quote, scary, dark-skinned people, as Prometheus would probably say. This is Big Bird. We all know who he is. 
He gives us the children. <laughs> this is Billy Mays. He, uh... If you remember, if you're too old and you don't know who... If you're too young and you're like, who the fuck is Billy Mays? Look at... Look up this man. He will change your life. Rest in peace. This is Bone. My old dog, Sam. You may remember her. He made her as a me. This is Cheese. We went to Foster's home for imaginary friends and adopted Cheese because we're like, he's fucking hilarious. Plus he likes, plus he likes chalky milk. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, we're not going to do it again, Cheese. Fuck you. <laughs> right? So yeah, we got chalky milk. We have a clock. He is our timekeeper, our official timekeeper. He times us and makes sure we stay on schedule, you know, things that clocks do. This is Daddy. No, I don't mean what Prometheus calls all his boyfriends. I mean, like, this is created by my nephew, so it's his father. Or maybe it's pro one of Pro's boyfriends. I don't know. This is Elmo. This is Elmo! He's in charge of our crack. No, he gets us bath salts. <laughs> he gets us our bath. He makes bath salts for us. This is Et. He's, uh... He helps gets us access to Area 51. This is Flanders. Yeah, you see, there's Ned Flanders from S The Simpsons. Well, there's his Mexican knockoff, Juan Flanders. This Cuban knockoff, I mean. Fuck. This is a Cuban knockoff, Juan Flanders. Okay? He's good at making flan. I've never eaten it, but apparently, according to the axe, it's super good. And he's giving me the finger because he's because he knows that flan is number one. Because we are number one. No. <laughs> this is Jesus. Why is he black? Because I figure that's what he would actually look like. Because we was Jesus and shit. Jack Black. Because he's funny. Indiana Jones. My other brother, Ian. Yes, I know he looks like a bug. Because he probably is. He drives one. This is Hamburger. He We eat him. He's our culinary mastermind. This is Guff, the uh, husband of Fug, who you will meet later. This is Gracie, my uh, niece. Hmm? Yes. Now, see, we don't know who created Fug, but we do know that Guff, her husband, was created by science. Using the power of science, we created Guff. You got Gracie, she's in charge of being a three-year-old, I don't know. Gar, he makes lasagna. And this is the woman, the myth, the legend, Fug. The infamous Fuginator. No one knows who made her. Odds are, I probably did, I don't know. This is Freya. Y'all know her, she's in charge of our voodoo shit. Voodoo, pagan, neo-paganism, whatever the fuck you want to call it. She's in charge of that. Jitters gets us cocaine. Not nah, this is a great value version John Cena, <laughs> whose theme song is very distorted. Bum bum, bum dum, bum bum bottom. <laughs> Ow. This is Cat from Kenny the Shark. She's in charge of music. She's an orphan now. She's an orphan now because I fired her parents and killed them. She now now she can say she's Batman. <laughs> This is Kenny the shark. He's probably going to eat her later. This is King, who's actually a queen. Transgendered motherfucker. Grussy the clown, he entertains the kids. Jay Leno hooks us up with all the classic cars. Because, come on. Light bulb makes things brighter. Lion, he uh, protects us and looks really cool and likes reggae and plays reggae music. Mad girl, she's a bitch. That's all she does is just being a bitch. And we have President Obama. Well, ex-president now. Sad face. We couldn't afford Barack Obama. Yeah, we couldn't afford Barack Obama, so we had to get the Chinese knockoff. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise known as Barbic Obama. Others, bar or as Obumba, as my grandmother would say. Mr. Stoned. Again, with Prometheus and Orion gets us the weed. Mr. Rogers is our motivational speaker. Mr. Hoot, Freya's boyfriend. It's America's best. It's America's best. 
mommy, which is probably what Prometheus would call his girlfriends if he had one, but no, this is created by my nephew. Mopiff, another one of my nephew's creations. He is tech support. Tech support, and not allowed within 500 feet of a preschool. We don't know why. He's just that's what the police told us in his background check. Millhouse, he's in charge of farting. Millhouse is in charge of farting, and he's our resident dictionary and nerd. Michelangelo, not the Ninja Turtle, like the actual Renaissance dude, or whatever. Melody, one of my nephew's friends, she's in charge of looking like she's on methamphetamine. Mario, too. Because, see, we couldn't afford an actual Mario, so we had to go to China, and this is what they gave us. We had the fine, finest Chinese artisans, and they gave us this. Whatever, we'll take it. Pigwin. He's in charge of being a and penguin. He also takes care of the petting zoo. Along with the Pink Panther here. And this is Pirate. He helps steal things from us. He helps steal things from people like, uh, you know, Tommy Parkey, Garrett Simmers, you know. He's, we send him there and he raids their house on a pirate ship. Saying the late, singing the song You Are a Pirate from Lazy Town at full volume. All distorted and, you know, bass real heavy and all that. That's what he does. He's really cool too. This is another polar bear. When Orion gets lonely. Puggy, which is our pug. Rita Mahone, the bitch from Flushed Away. You all know her. She died in three seconds. She died in three seconds, obviously. Roddy from... Zane Anger. Zane Anger from Flushed Away. Rough Ruffman from Fetra Rough Ruffman. Only on PBS Kids Go. Somebody once Shut told up, me up, that up. I should create Shrek. -ek. Before I slap your ass in the fucking face. So that's what I did. I created Shrek. Ow. Then we have Sid the Science. No, not Sid the Science Kid. Aww. Yeah, I know. Dax was. School. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, Sid, yeah. Dax was so excited when I said I made Sid because he really wanted to see meet Sid the Science Kid. Fuck you. He's obsessed with Sid the Science Kid, people. So he got all excited, and then he came up here, and he's like, "Oh, it's the Sid from Flushed Away." <laughs> he wanted to kill me for that, but yeah. <laughs> This is underwear. He gets us clothing. He gave Dax his underwear this morning. This is Trickster 2 and Trickster 1. Both of these idiots are fuckos. We don't know where they came from. They just did. We have Tigger from Winnie, from Winnie the Pooh. Got Tiffany, which is the mother of, you know, my, my nephew's friends. Former Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz. Is what is a member of us. He's in charge of being a weirdo. I don't know. He's a resident refugee. And this is a pig. Swine poop. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Urkel. If uh, Tex, if Ma Biff Biff and Millhouse don't know what to do, they go to Steve because he's the resident nerd. Squidward. Squidward. Oh, Squidward. Me Squidward. Me Squidward. Me Squidward. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, Squidward. And this is Snoopy, our rapper dog known as Snoopy. He's like Snoopy, but he's a rapper. Snoopy. He dabs a lot, too. And we got Walter from Jeff Dunham. Dumbass. Yeah, pretty much. And, uh,. We asked if we could get the rest of the Mario b Party people. Well, shut the fuck up, iPad. Well, shut the fuck up, iPad. No. See, we wanted to get the Mario, rest of the Mario characters. You know, like Mario, Waluigi, Luigi, and all them. Well, we Nintendo wouldn't let us, so we had to once again go to China. And these were the results. We got Walugi, created by Jabari. Some Chinese man, and then Brony. yeah, and then Wario, created by Net Shark, and then we got Weegee. Weegee. <laughs> then we got Weegee. We don't also by Jabari, and we also wanted Winnie the Pooh, but I don't know who owns the copyright the rights to Winnie the Pooh. Once again, China, 
They gave us Winnipoo. <laughs> this is a wolf. Don't tell. Don't. That's. Don't. This is my ex girlfriend. I turned her into a wolf. And this is. What the fuck, man? As in, what the fuck, man? Uh, we don't know who, what this guy is. We don't know if he's a pedophile or some 70s porn star. Ooh, porn, some porn star from the 1970s. We don't know who this guy is. But what we do know is that he works for us and he's kind of creepy. I don't like staying with him for too long. And that's all of our me's. All of these people work for us. They're all special in their own unique way. Except what? Except this guy. He creeps me out. And this is, guy is really weird. This one's an orphan. This is a bitch. Jeez, does the lesbian. But anyways. So, that is a tour of uh, all the employees. All the men and women that work hard behind the scenes to make sure that the Landex Corporation delivers these quality ass videos straight to your rectum. So if you want more, go to our website. So if you want more, dig up more fun with Clifford and his friends at pbskids.org or America Online, keyword, PBS Kids.